Let's jump to the war here, and today we've got another Saving Your Disaster campaigns, playing as Portugal, again, in Medieval 2 Total War Grand Campaign Vanilla. This is a fucked campaign. Now, I did say that I wasn't really keen on doing factions that I've already done before, and I, I've already done Portugal at least twice, so why am I doing it again this time? Well, this is a pretty interesting scenario, and you, you know, taking your vote into consideration, you guys did say, very, very few of you actually said, do not cover factions you've already covered before. Only cover them if they're interesting. And I think this is interesting. So we're going to do it. Now, he's under siege by England, but it's a you pretty shit army. My liege. But there is no way in hell we'd be able to repel it with this. Battle. He's not in the settlement. We have no choice but to actually make the attack. I've already looked around to see what else we could possibly do. There's nothing. He's actually already made most of the possible moves during the turn. So, we shall send them to hell you know, the odds aren't bad. Here's the thing, it's, it's a lot of peasants, and there's no, like, there's no command structure here. There's no cavalry, there's no knights. If we can manage to kill the captain, this will be so easy to, f uh, to pull, pull down. No but that's the thing, we have to isolate way. the prick and, and kill it. And if he doesn't want to be isolated, then we're going to be in trouble. So, first things first, we just try to get them tired, wait for a good opportunity. Got reinforcements coming in. If we need to, we could probably use them as like an anvil and then do a hammer and anvil attack. Maybe. Okay, so we got their archers chasing after us, that's good. They got a little shot off on us. Yep, good. The three archer units. Get them ahead of their other force. Get them tired. Alright, where is he? There he is. That's who we're aiming for. But if we just go charging at him here, these guys are going to be in our way. So, let's rotate around a little bit so that he's up front. Let's get down to here. As long as they keep moving, they're not going to recover their fatigue. There we go. Turn around. Okay, we're probably not going to get him on this charge. He's reasonably protected. Oh, that charge sucks. Oh, hang on, hang on. He's, ha he's lagging behind. Just don't worry so much about the charge, then just get into combat with him. No, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. Pull back. Yeah. Still killed some of them, but that's not really what we were aiming to do. There was only one person that needed to die. Uh, stop shooting me. Come on. I thought I'd give you the look. Get dead here. Just avoid them for the time being. Okay, he's still relatively fresh. Okay, we're almost at the edge of the map. Alright, now these guys here. Oh, fuck, they come in here winded. That's great. Uh, take to the high ground over here. You have to run there. Even if they walk there, they'll be tired. So it really doesn't make doesn't make any difference. Okay, there he is again. But he's pretty close to his other units, and we have to climb up a hill to get to him. Not a good idea. Let's go around them. Let's see what else we can do. Two men dead. Where is he? Where do you go? Where is Mr. Shiny? I don't see him anywhere. This is in this unit here, but I don't see him. Is 
Is he lagged behind somewhere? I just didn't see him. The enemy general has no honor. He flees the field of battle and abandons his men. I don't see him there. Well, if you get rid of all of them, his unit card will, will show up somewhere else. So there was one arch unit there. I have a feeling he got stuck somewhere. There he is. I wasn't fucking blind, he wasn't there. Oh, well, that's, that's just lovely. Thank you for that. <laughs> oh, well, I wasn't going to rely on them anyway. Alright, got to get rid of him. Okay, so they're going to chase... They're going to come up here. So be it. Like I said, these guys here don't really matter. Capturing the enemy general is a... Okay, the Lord above is kind. Big bonus for us. We have captured the enemy's general. That will teach the cowardly dog to run. All right, now get now rid of those other archers before they get to their, their allies here. Good. Make sure you run them down, or else we're just gonna have to deal with them again later. We don't want that. Okay, we're quite tired now. That's okay. The bouncer power is not so bad, and all they've got left are basically just peasants. A side on charge here. Let's see if we can break. You know, they're a little bit. They're unsure. They're, they're starting to be like, oh, I don't know about this. You charge in on the peasants. That might just break them. Unfortunately, they put spear units in there, but just try it anyway. Important that we run them down as many as possible, so keep doing that. Bounce of power is even now. We've got to keep in mind that one of our units is unable to participate in this battle due to their unfortunate starting location. That's okay. Run him down. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, well, stun is done. Can't move over here. No point, you know. Getting that last two, wasting time for it. Gotta get that 85%. Most of the archers were run down, which is, oh shit, these guys are gonna get away. A decent effort there to get rid of those last ones. Right. He's pretty exhausted now. Run a little bit further back, because he's coming. Oh, he's gonna never make it there in time. Oh, maybe he will. Okay, take uh, take these peasants out here. Show him a good time. Also, I've noticed once again it's on fucking normal unit scale. 
<laughs> Why do so many people not play on huge unit scale? Or even large unit scale? It's with the normal unit scale bullshit. You're playing on like an iPhone or something. I mean, the game is not on. So yeah, we're definitely going to win the battle now. It's just a matter of, are we going to wipe out the entire army? That's, that's the only question. Only half the enemy force remains. The battle seems to be swinging in our favor. Damage on the From such bodyguard. tidings does right. victory emerge. He'll recover. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. I think they've more or less given up now. They just recognize that they can't do shit. Still need your ammo, trying to take out this spear militia. Oh man, we just love in there. Praise the Almighty! Our enemy has lost his stomach to fight! We must push our advantage! I'm pretty sure we're at 85%, but we just gotta make sure. So the general's bodyguard took a bit of a beating, but we didn't lose any javelin men. So that's good. I, guess I think it's wiped out. This yeah. is a clear vi Good. A good start so far. Whew. I mean, we beat them pretty easily this time. We could easily beat them again. And that ransom would really help. Oh well, you can't pay, then die. Show little mercy. That's not pretty clever, but whatever, that's all it is. Alright, so I expect that these guys will besiege us over the end turn, and we don't have enough money to do anything. Your orders? Your Majesty. Yes, my lord. This will help save us just... Yes. ...tiny bit of coin. No, that's yeah, okay. Your orders, Your Majesty. We do not trade with infidels. Stop bringing the spies so over here. Investigating, moving in unseen, my lord. So, main point of that was just to try to give him more experience. As you wish. Because I may need to make use of it. We have Ready a to trade. oh, a merchant. Yeah, great. Uh, we Spy over here as well. Where to, sire? I simply cannot. Who do I face? And moving on. Something else we can do. Uh, this campaign only just meet my cutoff. I don't want any more campaigns that are like before turn thirty. Like I get campaigns that are between ten and level. Uh, sorry, turn ten and twenty. And would take me, you know, 30, 40 turns to fix. It's just like, if I have to spend more time on the campaign than you have spent on the campaign you know, in order to fix it, then, I honestly, you, you should just start again. It's not really a disaster. It's just like, you've screwed up right at the start and you want me to s fix it. And the, I don't know. To me, uh, those those are the campaigns that interest me the least. And I think it's important that these campaigns be interesting. The most interesting ones are the, you know, developed campaigns. Okay, so they didn't besiege the settlement, and we're back up to a reasonable sort of strength here. Let me strike, my lord. Two units in there, but we don't know what it is. An order? Naturally, my lord. Got a tiny little bit of cash. So we've got enough money that we could hire a Jeanette. Truth be told, Jeanette versus Jeanette, I don't think it's a good idea. I think we should stick to heavy cavalry, but we don't have the money for that. Uh, 
I'm not, I really, really don't like Lusitani and Javelin men. I just don't like Javelin, Javelins in general for the medieval, pe on, medieval me. period. We will not, yes. Back to land, men. Let me strike, my lord. Yes, okay. my lord. Get rid of them when you're not going to need a fleet. Try and save some Name cash. Enemy, lord. The thing is, we don't know what's here. My lord. It doesn't matter to do it anyway. Orders. Onward. Let me strike, my lord. We march on our beaches. Mailed knights and jeanettes. Okay. When shall we attack Can't the Can't afford any mercenaries. We shall send them to hell or worse. March. Okay. When shall we attack the wars then, my lord? I think we should get just get some peasants in here. And that's just to maintain the settlement. Who do I face? That, that's it, actually. Yeah, I can't get Jeanette's and peasants. So. Name thy enemy, Lord. And you yes. come round over here. My lord. And do the should same. We spare any of them. Now we have them. We lay sire. Yes, Lord. Investigating. Mm. Where to, sire? Moving in and seeing. Okay, good. He leveled up. As you wish. Thing is, you. The thing about spies is that if they ever fail, they always die. That's the thing. They either succeed or they die, which can make them really risky. So getting a really high quality spy can require a lot of luck. Let me strike, and, you know, my lord. A thieves guild or two. Alright, moving on. And the thing is, even a, a top level spy has a always has a one in twenty chance of dying. In any anything. This could be good, this will save us having to assault the settlement, but it depends on what they've got. Bounce power's not bad. It's not good either. Uh Jeanette's and okay. Well, let's do this. Waste no time at sparing enemies this day, man. I'm trying to capture the the entire Iberian My Peninsula. My lord, it's the tide of battle of seems men. to have turned against us. We must act and halt this turn of events. Okay, we need to find a good spot. This is this is great location, actually. Bring it up to a bed here. Any of their units that get up to here are going to be bloody exhausted. The enemy and our have shots will do a lot of damage. Men. They hope to make up in numbers what they lack in bravery. Alright, you guys got to get up here. You get up here as well. They, The enemy has a lack of infantry, so... Trying to harass them. They've got a harassing army, so we have to hold our position here. They can't outrange us, we'll actually outrange them because of the high ground. Hang on, there. Uh, they might end up doing some damage to us there. I just can't climb fast enough. Because Jeanette's main role would be to snipe generals. Due to the fact that, you know, the generals can't catch them. And their missiles are pretty damn powerful. But when it comes to melee, they are not good at it. Yeah, relative to other cavalry. These guys make it up here. I think I'm actually starting to run out of Medieval 2 disaster saves in my inbox. I've sort of been sifting through and doing, you know, prioritizing them. And when the time comes that I actually run out of Medieval 2 save, disaster save files, I don't know, that's not good. Because I've, I've got a lot of Rome 2 ones, but they like, majority of them are Gete and Dacian campaigns. And I'm just like, I don't want to do them. I don't actually want to do any of the Rome 2 ones, to be truth. Like, I even said at the start. I was not going to prioritize them. I think I've done more than I expected to in the first place. But I understand that with Rome 2, Attila, and Shogun 2, those are games where you could fuck up a lot easier. 
It's not, not so easy to have a good start. But the problem is, at least with Rome 2 and Attila, is that when I play more than a, f you know, a few hours every couple of weeks, I just get really sick of it. Like the Get A campaign for me, that just pushed me over the edge. I'm just like, I don't want to play Rome 2 again. <laughs> I've said it so many times because I don't want to. I'm actually starting to think that I might tolerate an Empire or Napoleon disaster save file or two. Just so I stop getting Rome 2 ones. Just to have something different. But the thing is, I, like, I don't even have Napoleon Total War installed at the moment. Because I don't, I don't think... I, I've played Napoleon Total War for fun once, and I didn't finish the campaign. And as for Empire Total War, I just can't get into it anymore. It's just too buggy. And too slow-paced and too boring. And I've tried Darth Mod, it just didn't do it for me. It really didn't. Played it for a couple of hours and got it felt the exact same that I did about it. I think it's just, you know, the, those games aren't for everyone. Does, they're not necessarily bad games, but I just don't like them. Love Medieval 2, love Rome 1. I quite like Shogun 2 and Warhammer 2. And I'm just, you know, I like Rome 2, but I've just played it too much. Like, there's, there's nothing exciting or new about that game for me. And I think the base base entertainment value has been spoiled. You know, from time to time I do get sick of Medieval 2 and Rome 1. But, you know, I take a bit of a break and I come back and I'm just like, ah, oh, it feels fresh again to me. Only half the enemy force remains. Here, just hold their ground. Praise the Almighty! Right, that's that's the our reinforcing. Army has lost his stomach to fight. Army, gosh, our advantage. Uh, but these guys over here, I don't know what they're doing. They're dicking around. Now he's gonna wait for them to actually make an attack. I think they will do it, they're just forming up. Oh, he's in a bit of a bad loop though. Yeah, this happens from time to time. Okay, uh, we may have to come down and actually fight them ourselves. Bouncer power is even, but still, you know, going to fight them like this will mean additional casualties for us. If they had come up to our defensive position, we would have, uh, would have crushed them. Okay, now they seem to be coming. They'll be coming up this way here. So they can't climb up here. Oh, they're going to come around the back. Up through here. And up there, that's possible. Thing is, with their Jeanette, I can't, I can't catch them. Which is why I have to rely on my Javelin men. Makes sense to take the, the high ground here. Why wouldn't you? Like, gravity aid us. Okay, good, they're coming.
shooting. Okay, that's fine. Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay, don't worry about them so much. Go around the side here. Okay, they don't have any knights or anything like that. Oh, wait, they do. Just be careful for the general. Make sure he doesn't die. Because the other guy, him, he's he's a general, but this is our faction leader, and he's not a family member. If he dies, we lose. It's like campaign game over. Come on, dude. Get him out of there. As he himself is safe. Should keep an eye on him because he's a little bit bloodied up. Hopefully, he gained a scar or two, helping him to gain even more hit points. Half the enemy force remains. Okay, there's the enemy captain right there. We kill him, and then it's just GG for them. The enemy general flees like the coward he is. Press onward and break. The battle seems to be swinging in our favor. From such tidings does victory emerge. Glorious heaven above. Our men have captured the enemy general. Guard him well, give the dog some wine, and be sure he can see us defeat the rest of his army. Alright, looks like he just sees Almogarvas next. Left, I mean. Take them out, should be easy. The enemy flees. And let's hope the we got eighty five percent of them. Never catch up to them now. This is a clear victory that we didn't need to walk that way up. Men of great virtue at No. <laughs> Good. Victory. Make a little bit of money we and through your enemy have a settlement that will help Victory. us with our income. Good. Starting to get things under control. And that is certainly good. I'll love another general. And that guy will actually be the faction heir, because this guy here is just a general. Crusade going on, huh? Cruel and cunning is good. Okay, let's get... Uh, we can justify getting these guys retrained here, I guess. As opposed to recruiting new ones, because they've, they've at least they've got some experience. That'll, that'll Let help. me strike, my lord. Orders. Yes. All right, uh, you go back to Pamplona. Mars, command me. Who do I free? Orders. Okay, we've got a decent amount of money. We need to make a push towards Toledo. If we have a look at our strength versus Spanish strength, they've got three settlements. We've got two, but they've got Toledo. Toledo is a much better settlement. And Leon is much better than Zaragoza, and it's about the same as Zaragoza. Command me. Name the field of battle. Uh, it doesn't we seem like that's too there. tough. Who do I face? Yes. Name the orders. I go back to Pamplona anyway. Because I want to recruit some knights. Let's get three of them. And some money making buildings. Early on in the campaign, which is still early on, the best thing to build 
is land clearance, okay? It has long-term benefits throughout the campaign, okay? For one thing, when the income's nice and low, it's a good static income boost, but also it's got a secondary growth bonus, which is to your population. Population is critical in this game. You want to get it growing as fast as possible. It's one of the only buildings in the game that increases your income and population growth. The other, other kind of building that's really good is the Town Hall, but the thing about that is it doesn't actually increase your income, it decreases your corruption, which, you know, increases your income. But there's no corruption here, so, you know, don't need that. Public order is not a huge issue. I would have liked to have built the mines. That would have been even more static income, but we just didn't quite have the money, and I'd much rather get the knights. Um, once those knights are trained, we'll get moving and try to make a push towards Toledo. Still got some money left. Alright, just let it be. Hopefully we don't see from England again. Oh wait, sorry, I just saw there that Spanish, the Spanish actually have Bordeaux, so they've, they've got another settlement. What I'd like to do in this episode is capture Toledo, Leon, and Lisbon, and then give it back at that. But I'm not willing to spend any more than an hour and a half on it. Because at this stage here, as far as I'm concerned, disaster has been averted. But if I hand it back to him, I still don't feel like he can, he can handle it. If we attack that, that'll give them pretty big high ground advantage. I'm not sure if we should play into it. But if we allow him to besiege the settlement, they'll win. So, fight at a disadvantageous position with an advantageous army, or an advantageous position with a disadvantageous army. Because what we could do is just bypass them all together and just... I have to go around that way. Nope. I'm going to fight them. Your Majesty. Good, they didn't take the, the ground. We show little mercy. They He's not going anywhere. Alright, if we can get you in here. This looks ah. It happens. 48% chance of getting in. Of opening the gate. Alright, there's also mercenaries. We should consider recruiting them. Approaching, my lord. Continuing tomorrow. Maybe not this turn. I can't get very many of them. No, not this turn. We'll see. They'll, they'll probably still be here next turn. Oh yeah, there's you. Why don't you come over here? Oh, I don't know. Don't even bother. Give me a name, and I'll give you. Twenty-seven. Whoa, and so much money. Ready to trade. Number three merchants. Ready to trade. If I put you here, you'll make me a fortune about yes, a thousand turns. Moving. How old is he? Opening oh, hang on, there's another merchant here. We have 40% chance. Looking to take someone's trade, my lord? Yeah, whatever. As you wish, I shall take the foreigner's business. Name thy enemy, lord. Merchants are just the best in this game. It's ain't fucking good. Your Majesty. I'm actually going to hire these two Jeanettes. Uh, no, no, no. Save up the money, because I reckon the crossbows will be more useful. Jeanette versus Jeanette, not a good idea. Jeanette versus crossbow, that will fuck them up. These guys aren't going to attack us this turn, so I'm not concerned we'll about that. We could also begin to recruit some more garrison. Public good is good. We can increase taxes. One of those units should be free upkeep. Not the other one, though. Okay, moving on. Looks like a draw-out opportunity is possible there. Nope. A force draw out might be possible. Also, we're excommunicated, so we can't join the crusade. If he weren't excommunicated, I would have used, you know, I would have Commanding. gone on to it and uh, taken the Moorish settlements rather than the Spanish ones. 
Oh, that's looking good. We can. Well, I mean, they've got Let the dismounted knights. Those are a problem to fight inside of a settlement, but outside the settlement, they are not very good. Alright, recruit a unit of these and send them to go besiege Order. the settlement. We'll see if the gates are open. As my they are wheels, we march to battle. Okay, Who that's fine. Then. Men, we march. My lord. Now, thing Don't to note. Cheap. Okay, this shouldn't Come be a problem. Face me. We. Approaching, my lord. We need we to let some of them go. It would be the best thing for us to wipe out the Jeanettes and release some of them. That's why I hired the crossbows. Crossbows there to snipe the Jeanettes because we'll never catch them. And if we do catch them, they'll likely rouse and then we'll have captives and I won't know what to do with them. Execute, ransom, release, I don't know. Better just kill them. Kill them in battle now and then we can make a decision on the captives that are infantry afterwards. I expect that they'll come at us so we can sit back here and relax. Are they? Pretty sure we can outrange them, so let's do so. Now we can probably outrange them by such a large margin that we can actually hit their back line before their front line can shoot at us. Back line being their Jeanettes. Get up on the high ground there so that we get an even bigger range bonus. shooting at us. That's right. If these guys all die but kill the Jeanettes, I'll consider it a money well spent. What the hell? You were over here and then you went and took a bad position, you dipshit. Come on, I need you to take out these fucking Jeanettes. You only killed like half of them so far. At least he's probably used up, um, the Jeanettes have used up most of their ammo. And these guys, are, well, this one here is going to get pretty tired as a result. Okay, most of the Jeanettes are dead. Alright, cool. They've done their job. Okay, I'm going to keep the mailed knights out of this so, because casualties on them were just really good. Let the uh, let the peasant archers go, enemy but I want to run down and execute the Almogavas. All right. If we execute the prisoners, these guys will be able to make it back to the settlement. All of Christendom will be. That went well. I mean, we achieved our goal. Took a few casualties, but that's okay. That's what they were there for. I don't want to die. <laughs> Name the okay, of that's battle. easy to wipe we'll out. Meet you there. Okay, now... Oh, I'm out of money. Ah, uh, shit. Hmm. I'm sure we'll manage with what we've got. Let me strike, my lord. We shall send them to hell, or worse! March! No matter how they beg, let So first up, let's get them to go crash into the enemy. Make sure enemy reinforcements have arrived first, though. You go. Okay. 
good over here. It's like a good spot to shoot at them from. So this in this battle here, this is an exterminator disorder. Everyone dies. No one survives. You know, of the Spanish. Praise to our lord! Our men have slain the enemy general. The enemy flees the battle. The battle is in our favor. Good. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. So I would much prefer shooting the general's bodyguard. Shot safe and flying. Yep. That's good. Killed one of them. That's for a unit that as far as I can tell has already done their job, they're they're doing well. Now they've got the high ground. It's okay. They killed four of the general's bodyguard men. You just keep them distracted while we go kill the enemy general. Yeah, maybe best shoot the dismounted knights. The enemy king lies dead, slain by our brave soldiers. Attack while his men mourn their loss. Praise the Almighty! Our enemy has lost his stomach to fight! We must push our advantage! Good, and that means the force draw out has been a complete success. Everybody dies. And we get Toledo without a siege. This is a clear victory that goes to only men. And we've taken their best settlement, because it's a fortress. Dear God, no. Sack it. Make a lot of money from doing that. We tore them apart, my lord. Victory! Command me. But Yes. Move out. Barely took any casualties as well. Get the income from there. Which is pretty damn decent. And we can get some feudal knights, which are better than male knights, but upkeep cost wise it's the same. I get three of them. And we're out of movement. Alright. Your job. Next, come over here. I am and uh, today, my lord. We've got our work cut out we for us. They've got a lot of knights as well. Enemy units are coming down here. We need infantry to defend this. Uh, I don't like Lusitanian javelin men, but it's better than peasants. Uh, then there's Almogavas. Now the fucking javelin men. They are significantly better though. I still don't like them. And there I spent all our money. It's okay. Income wise it's not so bad. These guys will be on the move Talk next. So I might have to. Come it depends feet. on what they do. If they if they come over here and threaten these settlements, I'll have to come over here and kill them, and then come back, which will allow me to pick up some troops from the, uh, from Pamplona and Toledo because I'll keep recruiting. All right, moving on. Bye bye, merchant. He's probably dead. Merchants are so good at this game. You should get more. Yeah, I could get 1,000 gold per turn from one merchant at turn 400. 
but it no longer matters. <laughs> Merchant income makes up at least 2% of my total GDP, so they're not actually shit, alright? 2% is a lot. So England's coming hey, back for more, but that's not you a concern, this will easily leech. handle it. Yeah, we've got our work cut out for us. Name thy enemy, Lord. But that's okay. Who do I face? Range of yes. player quality. Keep those mercenaries yes. here to keep eye on Orders. this. Name the field of battle. We will meet you there. So those guys didn't move. This isn't exactly on the way. Talk is cheap. Come face me. An old cavalry army will smash that. I don't think we'll be able to reach this. Yeah, we can't even reach this one here. A bridge crossing with all cavalry isn't necessarily a good idea, unless we can get crossbows and spears. Shit, that's all I can get. Name thy enemy, Lord. Just muted the sound there so he didn't have to hear the ear rape. Who do I face? They didn't go for it, but still, those units are some of the best units you can get in the game at the moment. Essentially, armored sergeants and good quality crossbows. Forty-eight percent chance of opening the gate. Name thy enemy, Lord. We shall and he send did. Them to hell okay. or Capturing and sacking March. the settlement will be worth quite Sooner a bit of cash because we're not exactly making a whole lot. When shall we attack the walls then, Where have they got in there? Okay, the crossbows aren't really going to be that useful to us, but the mercenary spearmen will. The knights will be fine against everything except for general's bodyguard and the mailed knights. Everything else will be fine. Come on. That's good. Training up My our Lord. spike. It Should actually paid off in the end. Them. Let's do this. Then after we've Kill captured this, we men. just have to get to Lisbon. And then maybe just clear out any Spaniard we can find along the way. But... I don't know. We'll see. Alright, I do like to split my crew up. I want... You guys over here. I want the infantry. There. And we'll come in through here. By our most gracious saints, our spy has opened the gates! <laughs> okay, so they're coming off the wall. There's no boiling oil, so just get over there. What do you guys have to contend with over here? Nothing. What's this unit over here? Crossbow militia. Alright, yeah, you, you're gonna want to intercept that guy. Just hold off with them for the time being. So they're getting back on the wall, but then they're getting off it. Make up your damn mind. I'm gonna go after that ballista and then run into the town square. And that'll draw them off. Press the attack order on this. They should cut their way through them. Give grace to God. We have captured the enemy's walls. Oh shit, released it. Oh, mail dice. In our favor. Well, if we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Did we get any kills? A few. They're not. They're not going to fight them properly. While there's even a single man up on the wall. Alright, 
him over here. Alright, bring him in. Town militia and the crossbow militia will be taken out. This guy's took a bit of a beating, but it's okay. Here we go over here. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. Where'd that fucking crossbow guy go? That's how we already made it back to the town square. He must have run over to here. He yeah, already made it back. What's left? Alright, make a push towards the general with the The battle the is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Try and fight those crossbow militia. Take their time with that, that's fine. I really just want to keep them pinned down so they don't shoot at my spears. Keep him close by to make sure that they don't rout. These guys here can't make up their mind on where they want to shoot. they got to move in quick before, before they do actually make a decision on it. Now recently did the, 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 fuck me. recently did the top five, you know, Total War games. Praise but I reckon I didn't Our mention this. Medieval 2's got the best soundtrack as well. No legend, it is insert my personal preference. Car says our men no longer command the city. I saw that someone posted that video on Reddit. Which is fine, that's not gonna bring any heat on me. Um, cause fucking hell, people on Reddit. I, I, I try, I only go into read, I don't wanna post on Reddit, but anyway. Um, I can't stop people from posting on Reddit. I'd prefer if they didn't. You know, as in, post my stuff on Reddit. I'd, I'd just prefer if the Total War Reddit just didn't even know I existed, personally. Um, but I was looking at one of the arguments that were being made about, you know, you know more like discussions. You know, the, the civil the civil way in which the Reddit people speak whenever whenever my name is mentioned. Anyway, luckily they didn't they didn't resort to personal attacks, which is good as far as Reddit's concerned. But they were like going on about Shogun 2 AI, it's not the best. Warhammer 2 AI is the best. I'm just like, oh man. Like Shogun 2 and Warhammer 2, they were neck and neck, okay? One was rated number three, one was rated number four. Okay, as far as the AI is concerned, they're very, very close. Like the AI in Warhammer 2 is the not enemy king bad. is slain. A worthy enemy, but no less a dead for that. We must This is a clear like, like, talk about arguing over that goes split to hairs. only men of great virtue and valor. It's fine though, if that's what they want to do. It's their right. Ah! 
at least they're not resorting to personal attacks. As, as long as people aren't resorting to personal attacks, fucking argue whatever you want. I just thought it was... It was... Victory. It was dull, to say the least. This place is yours, my All right. Lord. Thieves Guild there. This sounds good. Okay, so let's get let's get back to concentrating. So we're up to four settlements now. One more to go before I declare this done. We could finish off Spain. I mean, no, I've got 55 minutes into it. For, for me to get there, I mean, not impossible. Not with this kind of money coming through now. All right. So, as for this stuff here, I'd rather just leave it be. Yes. I'm gonna leave him in charge of the garrison while we keep moving over to here. Can't Don't worry here, about bringing the infantry; it's just gonna slow us down. Sire. We'll get a boat. Today's journey is over. That'll be quicker. Get a cheaper boat. Not looking to pick a fight. Just go from there down to here. It just saves us having to go around the mountains and rivers and shit. It's a lot quicker. Alright, so over here you're going to want some peasant crossbows. And I'm sure some dismounted feudal knights will be really useful in uh, looking after the settlement. Should be more or less safe there now. If you're gonna want those farming stuff done, I think it's one of the, the best buildings in the game, farming. I think people offer, I think it's one of the most underrated buildings in the game. I think a lot of people choose to avoid building farms. They're like, eh, cause it's squatter. Yeah, it, squalor is just a byproduct of population, um, but it's, it's good. Like public order is not difficult to manage. It's tougher in Rome one in, than in Medieval two, in my opinion. And you know, my opinion is gospel. I'm always right. <laughs> I'm also most of the time speaking in jest. Which I suppose, if you have autism, you don't understand what that means, and fair enough to. <laughs> but that's mean. Okay, I want I want this guy to pop up at Pamplona. His adoption father is King Henrique. Um, if we get Henrique over here, it'll pop up there. There we go. Your orders? Well do, sir. Get moving next turn. Ship, Maybe because I might have to destroy a ship or two. Maybe it would be a good idea. To pop a few extra ships in. Considering they We will see you then, hmm. heathen. They could really make an attack on us. It's risky. Okay, that's relatively safe there. Alright, Your orders, with four one. units yes. Your of cavalry, we'll make a push towards Bordeaux. We shall continue at first light. Are we good? We're good. Don't bother with that. Squeeze the peasants. For the good of the realm. It's important to bend the peasants to your will, not to break them. Every Despite man must contribute whatever they can. We would speak with you this and day. no more, but no less. Uh, sure, I don't see a problem with this, but you should help me pay my bills. Very well. There is merit in your suggestion. We are most willing to hear you out further. Agreed. 
You ask nothing we cannot give free. Another wise proposition? There is no way the Sultan would accept this. Fuck off. Okay, I'm not paying you shit. Words of wisdom, I don't want your map information. I know exactly where you are. Blockade the port of Ren. I don't consider that Your important. orders, number one. So we're at war with France, but France hasn't. Your orders, number one. Of course, my lord. Well, what do you know? Okay. What's Sicily doing here? Okay. Now I don't know what Name they've the got here. Let's get a little bit closer. We'll meet you there. Yes. Must be hide like. Talk is cheap. Come face me. Your orders, number one. Uh, we've got the money for it, but hang on, we, we don't know. Send a scout to go and have a look at what they've got. As my lord wills, we march to battle. Fucking Jeanette. Okay. Okay. Alright, if that's the case, we Your need crossbows. Orders, one. Get two crossbows. It is an honor to Let's do this. Armies. God will be with us, men. To battle! Able to fucking hell, just the strategy of things being able to pre actually prepare for battles, you know, split your armies up, and you just do so much more in this game than in, in any other Total War. The enemy have brought up more. To be honest, that's probably one of the things that makes it so easy. You just have so many tools at your disposal. As opposed to just, I am a full stack, I go battle. And that's about it. Uh, where did the rest of... Oh no, they're sitting there. Hmm. Fucking trees everywhere. Let's make our way over to here. It doesn't really matter if we run. Tell you what, this being in the way here is going to be a big pain for us. I really wish they weren't hanging at the, the back of the map. That's not good for me, because if they run... It'd be really hard for me to catch him. So they're coming around my rear here. Just be mindful of it. So although I try, I, try, uh, blech, I hired these guys to get rid of the Jeanettes, I can't really access the Jeanettes right now. And these guys, you know, you know what I've nicknamed them? General Killers. If I could destroy them. And maybe that'll bring their Jeanettes out of hiding. Okay, we're almost in range. I expect that as soon as we get into range, that they'll come at us. There we go. Now, aim for the General's bodyguard. Don't worry about the Elbow Carvers. Run them down easily enough. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. Okay. 
Mind to shoot at our at the rear as they cl close in. I do not want to go over here and fight them. They'll basically just run. Okay, this is kind of good. Most of his units have died. Okay, you need to come around here, cut off the possibility for him to retreat. We are blessed. Good job. The enemy general is dead. We have sent the idiot to hell. Don't Praise the Almighty. General our for enemy nothing. has lost his stomach to fight. We must push our advantage. Corner it is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are okay. winning the battle Good. and Got forging him. a worthy victory. Okay, next up, Jeanette's. Okay, so they came over here to try and defend their general. And since he's dead now, they're like, ah, oh, fuck it, we can't save him. Right. Try and get them out of here. They've got to face us at some point. I really don't want to go fighting in here. We can't... When you're going up against the AI, you should really try to avoid going into trees. I mean, even the ambush bonus that you get, it's not really worth it if you can't see what you're doing. Because the AI, they they can always see what they're doing because they don't they don't look at a computer screen the way we do. So always you got to understand your enemy as well as understand yourself and understand your limitations and understand the, the AI's limitations. The AI is unable to formulate uh, formulate a complex plan, but what they can do is manage a fuck ton of units at the same time. Which is why oftentimes I try not to create overly. Uh, micromanagement intensive armies because that's that's where the AI will get you but I come up with complex strategies that have layers to what we want to do because the AI has no fucking clue what we're trying to do it confuses the hell out of them so the age old out of war secret know yourself and know your enemy you know, the AI has advantages over you don't play into them Which is why sometimes I get people saying, I don't understand, whenever I go, whenever I watch one of Legends video, the AI flounders about stupidly, but whenever I fight them, they do a really good job. Yeah, it's because I know I don't let them have things the way they want it, that's why. I know where they're strong, I don't let them have it. I don't let them have their way. It would be more honorable if you let the AI have an advantage of it. Yes. And when we get home from war, all the widows of all the men that I got killed, I'll be like, here, have some of my honor. That'll feed your family. You don't need your husband. Here's some honor. This will feed us for years. This immaterial honor. I can't fucking see a thing. You know, within here, I can see this. I don't know what they're shooting at. Now more garbage. It's not what we want to be shooting at. Where's the other one? There it is. Okay. Don't need these guys to wipe out the entire army. We're just trying to get rid of the, the Jeanettes.
We are blessed. The enemy general is dead. We have sent the idiot to hell. You guys have done beautifully on this battle. Well done. Only the battle is in our... Praise the Almighty! Our enemy has lost his stomach to fight! We must push our advantage! The enemy are overcome! This is it! No! Blessed Lord, we thank you for delivering us. We will engage them honorably, my lord. Your orders, noble one. As you wish. Forming two arms. Good. And just Your enough orders, movement. One. God will be with us, men. To battle! Alright, I wasn't gonna take that settlement. That's a bonus man there for you. Our... Yes, my lord. Uh... Oh, you fucking we have no threat to your fleet, Sadish. Shit. Ah, oh, a neutral with them. You want us gone? Then do something about it. Your orders? Ah, oh, it's fucking risky. Land here. Let me see if we can get the cavalry off. Who do I face? Yes. It's just yes. for the turn, yes, and the lord. agent. Sire. Okay. Looking for the truth. Name thy enemy, lord. Just because yes. it's not safe. As they've for upgraded sale. it. All right, that's fine. All right. Uh, pretty good. Let's have a look at the faction rating. Whew. Yeah, this is this is what happens when I when I get it. If I if I had a uh, if I had a flag, it would be this symbol right here. It'd be an X. <laughs> you know, up and down. And then I don't know. I'd probably put like little bits on the end of it. No, fucking <laughs> shit. Trouble. Your Majesty. All right. Um, let's move on. Your orders. Yes, yes, my lord. Moving ashore, my lord. Who do I Where to, sir? Okay. Can you open the gates with 56% chance? Yes, you can. But with all cavalry, it's going to be a little bit difficult. March. So, what, what do they got? What do they got? It's spears, cam militia. It's, wars, like, we could do lord. that with cavalry. Um, I will hire a few. This will eliminate Spain, I believe. I don't think they've got any settlements left. I'm sure we'll make enough. Yeah, just do it. Because uh, what I'm going to do here do I face? is I'm going to rampage through their front gate. Because we got a high dread general, a lot of cavalry, and the troops that we're up against are shit, and they have no general. Anyone that's standing at the front gate is going to shit their fucking pants at the side of us. Doesn't matter if they're spearmen or not. There's no boiling oil, so we don't have to worry about that. And then this is for whatever's left over. Good news! Our spy has opened the gates. It's time to reap victory! Time to rape. Oh. I don't mean that literally either. So no one was protecting Give the grace gate to there. God. We have uh, captured the enemy's walls. Praise the saints. Our men have taken control of the city. Make sure no one gets back here. It 
it is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. Just his mere presence there. We should make him sh themselves. He's not gonna do it well there. Just gotta hold out for two minutes. Dread. That's good. And this one should come shortly after. Is he safe? Should be safe. He's okay. They're holding their ground, that's all they need to do. One more minute. How you doing? So far, so good. You get over here. Up that break. Although there's only 45 seconds left. Got this. Only half Just ignore the them. If they're not, if they're not pushing towards here. Like they'll, never, they'll never make it back here in time. 15 seconds. Done. All of Christendom will be. We tore them apart, my lord. Ah! Yeah, sh quit your fucking winching. There we go. We have completely conquered the Spanish. And all of their armies that were just sitting around here disappeared. Well, not necessarily disappeared, but turned rebel. Okay, so with that, we're up to, what, six regions? Yeah. Gone from absolute rags to, I wouldn't say riches, but it's certainly the start of a decent campaign. Did that overall ranking go down? It seems to me like he, in the past he was a bit stronger, even than this. Militarily, he's stronger now than he's ever been. Production-wise, it's about, he's reached this, this height. Territorially. So he's had more money before. He's had more population. Just give it time. Orders. Alright, why don't we March. just end the turn once more, just so I can see what the balance of power uh the the um the state of things are. I'm not gonna even gonna spend anything just so just so we can increase the Your orders Um the amount of faction rating. I just want to see what it is after this. Because it, it only refreshes at the beginning of each turn, and we just captured a pretty important settlement. Let us try words and not war for a change. No point in being at war with them. The thing is, you can't ask for more money than they have. Now, I don't actually know how much very poor is, but they probably won't be able to afford much more than that. I must say, we are not convinced. If they're not bankrupt, they should be able to pay a thousand. No, we will not agree to anything like this. Fine, I'll accept that. We cannot thank you. An, an honor and a pleasure. Farewell. Alright, let's have a look at the ratings now. Yeah, there we go. So overall, he's at he's three times stronger than he's ever been. Militarily, far stronger. Production wise, far stronger. Territorially, he never got above five, now he's at sorry, never got above three, now he's at six. Financially, that's relative. Population double what it used to be. Cool. I'm happy with that. This campaign is unfucked, but that was that was a a really bad situation there, and 
most people I think would have ended turn and just been like, I can't win that battle at the siege. They're relying on the siege battles, but the thing is the general's bodyguards, you know, especially against like garbage like what England had. If you're patient enough, you can rip them to shreds. Anyway, that's the end of this one, so like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Fuckers.